you're in the middle of a workout. Not just any workout. You're in the middle of your contest prep, which should be the biggest competition of your life. Uh, you're stopping your workout to help him with his posing. You are watching Muscle Central. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Okay, I'm starting to question how focused Chris Bumstead is going into his Olympia. He's going for his sixth classic physique Olympia title. This should be his most important uh, competition. We're all expecting him to retire after this. You do want to go out in a bang and six classic physique Olympia titles is a pretty big bang. But like I said, I'm starting to question uh, how focused he is. On Brad Wilkins' social media, he put up a picture, uh, and he's, st and he's thanking Chris Bumstead for taking the time during his workout three weeks out from the Olympia to help him with his posing. Yes, you heard it right. Chris stopped his workout. He was in the middle of a leg workout. He stopped his workout to help Brett Wilton with his posing. Now, yes, they're friends. And Brett Wilkin is sponsored by Roar and Revive, which Chris is part of. And sure, it's all fine and dandy to help your friend. Nothing wrong with that. You're in the middle of a workout. Not just any workout. You're in the middle of your contest prep, which should be the biggest competition of your life. Uh, you're stopping your workout to help him with his posing? I don't know. Uh, to me, that doesn't sound 100% focused. Now, in a previous video, when I was talking about the comments Wesley Vizzles, Viz, Wesley Vizzles made on a Menace podcast, when he said that he will be Chris Bumstead, I give Wesley all his props, but I did in that video, say that I feel Chris Bumstead will emerge victorious. I'm not a hundred percent confident in my pick now. I'm starting to have uh, some questions. Uh, Chris is not a hundred percent focused on, uh, for this prep. He does have some very, very stiff competition. As I stated before, in Wesley Visits, although structurally Chris is superior to him, Wesley Visits is someone that, he's, that he does, he's not big at any, he doesn't overpower. Wesley's actually physically, structurally bigger than Chris. And he brings in crazy conditioning. Ramon Dino just put up some uh, uh, picks. He, uh, three weeks out from the Olympia. He's looking pretty damn good. And like I said, Chris has some stiff competition. Uh, on paper, Chris should win. But, like I said moments before, I'm starting to question how focused he is. And ultimately, that could manifest itself on a stage in a way his physique 
looks. I could be reading too much into this. Uh, I don't know. We're going to find out in a very short time. That's about it for this video. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.